Thank you. Um, it's such a pleasure to be here. Miri and the Joy team, thank you for inviting me. I've been having a blast the whole morning uh, with the talks and um, talking to people. I come from London. I am co-founder and CEO of Doppel. We are a startup that helps people stay calm and focused on the spot, non-invasively, and without much effort. Our mission is, like many of the others here, to bring calm and focus in people's overstressed lives. But our path to it is different than many others here. We look at how the body affects emotions and cognition and how to change your perception of what goes on inside your body. As we've already heard, stress and anxiety is through the roof. That's no news, it's increasing like crazy. In terms of what people want, they very much need something that fits with their lives that are already busy. So one of the things that you see a lot is there is huge awareness of mindfulness as a good thing to do in meditation, but people tell us that they just don't have the time. If I have to get the kids out of school and get ready for work, get going, do I really have time to do this? What could I do to make me feel better without the effort? Well, it turns out that there is quite a lot that you can do. So our area of science is interoception and psychophysiology. So how the body, your heartbeat, your breathing, your gut affect cognitions, cognition and emotions. When I get up to come here and give a talk, it's stressful. So what happens is that my heart rate naturally just goes faster. My brain perceives that, says emergency. Now what do I do to calm down? Long time meditators can deal with this very naturally. They can just make their heartbeat just slow down on demand. But I cannot do that. Well, there is still something I can do. I can use a fake heartbeat. So I have this device here. It has a motor that generates a sensation of a heartbeat. On my pulse, I feel a little heartbeat that is actually beating at about 20% below my resting heart rate. The effect is very similar to music. When the beat is slow, it calms you down. When the beat is fast, it makes you go. Your body naturally entrains the rhythms. When you put fast music on, on the treadmill, you can't help but run faster. And you really, most naturally, entrain to a heartbeat. It is the most ubiquitous biological rhythm. So we give you a heartbeat, a second heartbeat, that you can control. Yes, it works. So we have uh, trials, peer-reviewed, published results um, in Nature Scientific reports showing that you put people in a stressful situation, which actually it is, you ask them to give a presentation, public speaking, and you have two groups. The, the doppel group has the, the device beating at 20% below their heart rate. The control group has the device doing nothing. You have a cover story to control for placebo. You tell them that it is a blood pressure monitor. And then you measure stress through skin conductance and standardized questionnaires. And the people with the device are half as stressed as the people without it. It works. We also have a patent covering giving somebody a heartbeat that is not their own. This is false biofeedback. So it works and it, it, it's real. Where you really know it's real is when you ship product to people and you get their feedback. And this has been happening to us the last few months and it's a, it's a wonderful time in our long path to this. Um, we have people that say that makes a huge difference in their workplace where they suffer from stress at work. That is the, the most common place where people identify stress as a problem is work. Um, there's also interestingly a difference between men and women. Women want to be less stressed men seem to mostly want to look less stressed. This <laughs> is the, the interesting things you find out when you see product. Um, very remarkably, we've had a lot of people that have bought a device for anxiety or ADHD. We are very keen to make a product that we don't medicalize. So all that we ever say is calm and focus. But people come to us and they do say that it changes their lives. They think of themselves as neurodiverse. They do not generally want to take meditation, not just because of the side effects and because meditation, it's hard 
to target exactly what the problem, but they like how they are. They just want to move themselves to a slightly different place every now and then. Um, again, we very much um, help people connect with this, not so much through the science, which is actually on our website, but through the analogy of music. People intuitively connect with the idea of a heartbeat, and they intuitively connect with entrainment to music. So we all use headphones when you work or when you want to feel better or you put uh, a, a, so slow music when you want to relax at the end of the day. So the device has a Bluetooth connectivity to an app and you use the app for two things. One is to measure your resting heart rate that the device needs to calibrate to. And the other is to pick your rhythms like you pick your songs. You pick rhythms for how you want to feel. This is a very different direction than a lot of other wearables out there, although I know that I'm talking to the people that are looking at the future already, so this might not be news for you. But we are moving from the sensor behavior changing uh, wearables to haptic uh, wearables, where the reward is not in giving you stars for having done it today, but the reward is the product itself. Since it makes you feel better, I do not have to gamify the experience. You will pick it up because you like it. And similarly to this, it's not about data insights and notifications, which, by the way, when you deal with people that tend towards anxiety, giving them data on how anxious they were today is the wrong way to go. Instead, we have a path to talk directly to your body. Um, as competition goes, well, this is, this is really fascinating because yesterday there was almost none. It was not an area when we first started, and now it's exploding. And where we see ourselves is in the space between apps where you need to take time out of your day to do something like meditation for quite a while to see effects. Um, and things like neurostimulation, which is still more invasive and not as natural and intuitive to people as, say, music or a rhythm. So we come in because you could just put this on two minutes before you, know, you get up on stage, and it will work. You don't have to spend time and months working on it. Um, and it's completely non-invasive. It is as natural as music. In terms of where we are, uh, we have 1,600 customers at this point with basically no marketing spend. We have hardware, we have product, IP, and customers. And we were uh, best female um, angel investment in this year um, in the UK. And we have wonderful reviews. It's a good place for us because we are ready to go. We understand who the customers are. And it's, it's interesting that on the one hand, there is the stressed uh, people in the workplace, and then there is the core of anxiety and ADHD who are, for whom this is a painkiller. And actually going forward, um, quite a lot of the development that we're doing is pilots for these people, which for us is, are the extreme users from which you can take insights that are, will be beneficial for everybody. And also performance. Like for example, we have an ice skater who uses it only for competitions. And it's interesting, not just before the competition, but also afterwards to deal with the adrenaline come down. And we also have a product roadmap going on this. This is obviously an MVP. It's the first step in going on this. In terms of the team, um, I would just quickly say that we are scientists, engineers, and designers. We have come out from Imperial College and the Royal College of Art. And very importantly, we are designers. So we really care about making a product that fits into people's lives and is as natural as it can be in your daily life. And I will wrap up here with just a reminder that if you are thinking about brain tech, the body is a big part of what you should be looking at. Not everything happens from the neck up. A lot happens here. And wearable technology can become this emotional protective skin that people need. Thank you.